Alux, over 4 million. Most amazing, 7 million. Most amazing anime, 33,000. Watch Mojo, 25 million. What do they have in common? Well, let me let you think. Did you get it? Yes, they are top 10 videos. And I'm going to show you how to make a top 10 video in CatGuard. We're going to create the video right now. And this is more of an example, it's a sample. We're not gonna sit here and create the whole video. I wanna show you the fundamentals of making a top 10 video, and then you could implement it for yourself. And if you want a longer video, let me know. So let's say we're making a fitness. What we're gonna do is we are just going to drag our clips here and this will be the clips. So let's say we have our clips here and this is, we're gonna be explaining, you know, top 10 uh, fitness tips for college students, right? Now, what we need here is we need a title telling us who, what it is. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to text and then we're gonna go to text template and then you have a few options and usually you could just go to title or social media and click the one that you like so we're going to go to title here and we're going to see what do we want what do we want hmm, hmm. yes 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 so we can look and we can see how they are and we could go here, we click plus, and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to go here and say 10 best fitness tips. And then we're going to go to this second section for college students. And we have our title. And then what we'll do is usually you don't really want this to move over. So we're just going to put that and have that only be part of that. We kind of want it to look a little bit different. And so we're going to add a filter here for the title. Um, and we could add something like this. We could add something like this. Uh, it's for college students. So it makes sense for it to be, you know, a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter. Uh, it doesn't need to be too moody. And we're just going to randomly pick one and go with it. And then right after that, we could just go here, add a transition. So when we have our transition, we're just gonna go, it's gonna play, and then it's gonna go right into the video. And it's going to be me talking about whatever it is. Now we need to add the section where we're doing number one, number two, number three, number four, etc. Um, and here you could keep it at titles if you want. And we could just pick another title. So we could say we could have one over here. We do here. And instead of it being this big, we're going to put it down here below and we're gonna say you know tip number one and we don't we only need one section um, eat your greens <laughs> this is just for purposes this is just for the for the purpose of the video so you know Obviously, you want to be more specific than that. Um, 
But let's say I have this, I have my title, then I go straight into it and I say, number one, you know, eat your greens. And then from here on, I will be explaining, you know, what type of vegetables to eat, when to eat them. And each point is usually up to a minute. And when you're making the video, you also want to make sure the content of the video is actually related. So right now it says eat your greens, but it has no vegetables, right? So even if you're using stock image or royalty free stock images, you want to make sure that the video that you're showing is actually related to what you're speaking in the video. So if I'm saying eat your greens, I want to show vegetables. I want to show people of eating vegetables. If I say broccoli, I want to show broccoli. If I show, if I want them to see, uh, you know, asparagus, I'm going to show asparagus. Um, and I want to be able to make sure they're having an experience that has consistency. Right? You want to create consistency. Now here is about exercising, right? So instead of me having say eat your greens, I could say um, find find a active hobby. And then as I'm explaining that, I could talk about, you know, you could do stuff like boxing, you know, jump rope, you know, sparring, exam examples like that. And that's really what you do. And then what happens is you just do that you get your title you have your subsection and then you make 10 of those and then at the end of those tens you could just end the video or you could just simply say this is how the best 10 ways to do it but if you're looking to you know level up your fitness watch this video right here and you'll have a recommended video related to fitness if your if your whole channel is related to fitness this that should be an easy tie-in um because it's not about it's really not about how crazy the graphics is it's the information that you bring so you want to make sure your information is on point and related to what you do remember you don't need to go crazy here like you see this you see this alliance, right? Obviously, this is based off of Avengers. Then you have your Stranger Things, you know, Euphoria. You don't need to use any fancy titles. We're just focused on the information when it comes to top 10. If you want to go more detailed, I recommend going detailed with the information and focus on the information that you're giving and then you could increase the actual video quality because at the end of the day top 10 videos are going to go viral because of the information and the topic right so if you're talking about you know 10 best you know the 10 best fitness tips for college students that might not go viral because it's not it's not something that's crazy but if I were to say the top 10 uh, things you didn't know or the top 10 hidden secrets of the Kardashians, then you might click on it and more people are going to be interested in the Kardashians than fitness tips. And that's likely to go viral. That's just a little tip right there uh, for people that have been able to stay long enough in this video to really hear that. Um, and that is really how you do it. It's very straightforward. Don't overcomplicate this. I know you love watching videos on how to edit videos. Do not do that to yourself. Watch a video, try it out, and then see what happens and then repeat that. Because at the end of the day, I'm gonna be making content, I'm going to be making tutorials and videos. However, it's going to hurt me, it's gonna hurt my heart that nobody does anything with the content that's created. and. I really create this to help you guys and gals. So that is how you do it. But I want you to look at this video right here because this actually might help you out.